Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching so many videos which we are giving it to you and thank you so much for all the love. In this video, we are going to work around your goal setting once again and in the last video we did a question on clarity that how can you get clarity for your goals. In this video, it is more deep into the clarity which means in the last video, we have come down to which specific area you want to work clearly on. Supposing you have an example of relationship or health which you want to work upon, in this video we are going to chunk down what specifically you want to work and how specifically can you achieve your goal. So let's come to that point now. We are taking an example in this video about let's say relationship and we are going to ask you question by question so sit with your pen and paper ready and pause the video in between while you are answering your question and then go to the next question of the video and while you will go through this video also experience whatever I am asking that will really help you when you will meet me in the goal setting workshop in the quarter review in the month of April you will have a lot with you let's do it okay so the first question after you have clarity that you would like to work in relationship area, I would like to ask you what specifically you want to work upon. Specific is a very important word. Think about it. You're going to a mall and you go and you have not paid any plan of what specifically you want to buy. What you would do, you would actually go crazy and maybe buy many things or maybe not buy anything. And you would come back with a lot of uh, different feelings. Maybe if you have gone through all the mall and have bought a lot of things, you're exaggerating, you are uh, tired, you are having fatigue and you're still thinking, dude, calm to why nahi? Just calm ke liye nikla tha, wo to hua hi nahi. That has not happened. The reason is very simple because you are not specific. Have you ever wondered, you go to the refrigerator and you just know what you specifically you want to pick, go pick, done. And you've picked up so specifically. That's the most important part of being specific so that you actually achieve your goal effectively, faster and you know what, you really enjoy going to the mall if you're very specific. I do enjoy if I'm specific and I go like, okay, fine. And then I can also listen to myself anything else which I would like to buy. Just a small joke on that. Okay, so let's go back to your example of what specifically you want to achieve in relationship. Now the answer could be I would like to have joy. My specific uh, answer to this question is I would like to have joy so that I can laugh with my spouse every day. So I'm giving you a very specific agenda, what I want to do every day. I'm not just in the air. I want to be happy. I want to be um, contented. I want to be uh, successful. This is good. I understand. I agree. And more better would be when you will start becoming specific. Like I would like to have uh, playing uh, Ludo in once in a week with him so that we, we enjoy. That's it. So what is that goal clearly and specifically which has some task or something involved and you know with whom are you doing, what are you doing? Write that down as a specific goal. Just don't write, I want to be successful in X business. I want to be happy in this relationship. What specifically you want to do so that you are happy? I want to play Ludo every week with my relationship with my spouse and feel happy about it or I want to have a joyful discussion every day with my spouse and feel happy about it. this is what I want to have so one question clear take your time let's come to the question number two now question number two is about now you know what specifically you want joy uh, spending time with each other etc my question to you now is what specifically is happening right now what's happening right now oh maybe you have some arguments maybe the discussions are not so good maybe you don't like to talk to each other now 
maybe they're not that kind of happiness not the kind of hugs not the kind of love there maybe you feel like there is a lot of conflict whenever you start any um, discussion so write down the answer of what specifically is happening right now and please mind take your time to write all that what you want it's your job it's your work please take your time while you're writing down you would also observe so write write and continue writing pause the video if you're writing and switch it on when you are done while you were writing and writing and writing did you notice that you started feeling a little mm, not so good did that happen with you if that happened with you take a while and go back and been able to observe what's happening how are you feeling inside you that's called calibration in NLP we teach you in NLP how to calibrate yourself so beautifully with doing different different exercises for a year so observe yourself at this moment is your stomach becoming tight is your head becoming warm is your um, shoulders coming down is your breathing becoming mm, very very slow what's happening to you what's happening how are you feeling inside isn't buddha said look inside you and then outside everything will change right whatever is happening inside my friend it's okay the next step now is to touch wherever here 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 anywhere touch it and say thank you so much for coming i'm ready to work with you because that feeling came in when you were thinking about an unresourceful state an unresourceful state in nlp means something which is not useful to you and draining you down so now when you're touching and saying thank you so much i will work on it you might have started feeling more better and take a deep breath again nice and now towards this goal let's go towards this goal okay so okay i'm here to work for it and get up from the place where you're sitting and been able to see look your own self that whatever is happening to this friend of yours who is sitting in front of you you are a friend how beautiful we used to feel when we were kids and some friend get a gift to us and we receive a gift and we feel joyful and we feel like wow you are there as a friend of your own self and give a beautiful gift today what is that gift question to you all hear me clearly what is a gift which you can give to your own self over there so that there is some change there is some movement there is a specific change which can happen in that relationship is it smile is it more appreciation is it a hug is it a touch is it just be is it silence <laughs> what is that gift or a new experience completely new experience with your spouse what is the gift which you want to give it to your own self hmm i would like to gift beautiful smile to this lady here and you can gift whatever you want feel that whatever you are feeling right now i would like to gift say that whatever you're saying see that whatever you are seeing i would like to gift saying feeling and seeing i would like to gift that beautiful smile to that lady while you're doing so maybe you're already feeling so smiley like i am feeling and the next question next question in the process is while you are doing so there were so many days in which you have over there smiled in that relationship 
There are times in which you have done that before, isn't it? Oh, oh my God, I've done it so many times before. Yes, not now. Okay, so now, next, take a deep breath. Go back to that time when you accessed, when you experienced so much of smile, you gave it to that relationship or that appreciation which you gave or that beautiful aha which you gave to that relationship, whatever you gave. You experience. While you're experiencing, my friend, you're listening to me, experience will help your neural pathways in the brain to access that neurological circuitry, that change in the body. Aren't you feeling better about it just before you're feeling not good and now you're feeling so better about it? What has happened in just few seconds? Small little change in your brain. So take a deep breath again and carry that change. Feel that change more. And now, can you give the task to this beautiful girl or boy over there, handsome boy over there, that this person can do this with this feeling what you're feeling? Isn't it? So now, thank this new feeling. And your task for your goal, the bigger goal which you have, which has come down to one small thing is, feel this feeling every day. What is your task? That's the next question. Feel this feeling every day and start your relationship in a new style with this new communication. Step number one, feel. Step number two, go. And step number three, communicate with this new feeling. With a smile, right? As you're seeing me doing it there, hearing it, you are feeling some changes in your body. Do you really commit to this task to really achieve your goal? My question is always, people say, saying is okay, doing is the king of everything. Doing is important. Are you committing with me today while you will meet me on the 7th of April for a review that yes, I'm able to do that task. And let me tell you, if you're not able to do this task naturally, there is something holding you back. We are here providing you a specific coaching session through the Kindly link or through the mentor, a coaching session which will help you to get away what is stopping you and do it naturally. Naturally aata hai na, to maza aata hai, right? So let's do it naturally. You can also get in touch with us through the Calmly link so that me and you or the mentor and you can have a meeting and install this beautiful state. Yes, like you go to a park, smell a beautiful flower and you install a new state. Come with your smile, install that new state in your relationship. That's the way to achieve a specific clear goal with commitment and installations of the states which can happen using NLP so that you believe that you can do it and so that you achieve like you achieve so automatically the way an airplane achieves so automatically the moment it just pulls a lever and it goes takes up the flight. I'll see you on the 7th of April for more information on goal setting and have a review. Keep watching and keep liking us. Thank you.